Hi and welcome to a 5 minute guide. Today I'll be looking at Google Web Designer. Specifically we're going to be looking at the 3D tools that are available to us. First of all let's play the animation. So this is a simple space racer that I made a while back. It's got an engine rotating at the front but as you can see the engine is in a bit of an odd place and we need to reposition that. So what we'll do is we'll use the 3D tools that are available to us in Google uh, Web Designer and then we'll hopefully reposition it back where it needs to be. So I'll stop that for now. Right, first of all, I'm going to use the tool rotation for the stage. I can press M on my keyboard, or I can um, tap the icon in the left-hand side toolbar. Just drag, there you go, so you can drag it around. You can do some rotation on the Y and the Z and the X, so you can obviously make all the manipulations you need to see to get around your objects. You can see all the Zen indexes of all your animations and where the JPEGs are or PNGs are. Right. First of all, though, I'm just going to reset that. You can reset that by double tapping on the icon. There you go. And I'll press V to deselect the tool itself. OK, so let's get that engine back into place. So I'm inside the div that has the engine inside it. So I can select it here down, down here in the layers on the timeline, or I can select it from the outliner uh, tool on the right hand side. Next, I'm going to press G, which is the uh, translate tool, and I'm going to move the engine on the X. Right, and then I'm going to move it on the Y. Right, that seems to have brought it back into shot. I might move it on the Z to so bring it towards us a bit. Right, press B to deselect, press play. And it's almost there, not quite right. Hmm. Okay, I think what we need to do is we need to do a rotation of that. So what we'll do is now we'll pause that again. I'm going to select the engine. And this time I'm going to press W, which will bring up the rotation tool. Or again, you can select it from the toolbar on the left hand side. All right, I'm going to, I think, oops, sorry, let's zoom in a little bit. It's a little bit easier. Okay, I'm going to move it on the Y. There we go. Not too much. Just going to press G again, just lift it up into shot. And move it again. Not too far. Okay, I think that's better. Right. Press play. Uh, still not quite right. It looks a bit odd. Okay, I'm going to pause that again, and I'm going to press W, and I'm going to try and rotate it again. Okay, that might be better. Press G. Put forward on the X. Okay, that looks better. I'm getting a bit more of the engine now. Press B to deselect. I'm going to zoom out, pressing Command and minus on the keyboard. Okay, let's press play on that. Oh no, so I seem to have now put the engine inside the front part of the image. All right, so let's pause that. Press G again. Oh no, must make sure you have the engine selected. All right, I'm going to move it on the Z now, back the other way further away on the depth, I'll lower it a little bit down the Z, oh, sorry, the Y, and then I'll move it back on the X a little. Okay, let's press play on that. Okay, that's better. All right, well, there you go. Um, that's how you now use the 3D tools uh, to make small adjustments within your Google Web Design project. Thanks for watching.